it. Ryan's muted. No. No. -uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you okay. can't prove no. shit. So true. Okay. Do it. All right. Let me. Let me. Let me. Oh yeah. Let me um okay so i i i know a lot of like campaigns will do the thing where they kind of have somebody somebody wants to do a recap if they would like because a uh, short, short explanation of what happened last se session if if they want otherwise i can go i can do it i ain't down. doing it not it <laughs> sure why not okay so i believe last session um our characters ended up getting like through means of circumstance a lot of all of us ended up getting trapped inside of a cabin uh, you know, to avoid the oncoming cold. We searched around... Oh, well, hold on. Let me look at my notes. Where are my notes? Notes! Notes! Ah! Notes. Hold on. Where's my pad? I'm sorry. I'm fucking this up. Ah! It's, I can't... I can't... I can't, be I can't believe it, dude. That's really fricked up. I can't believe it. I'm sorry. It's fricked I'm up, sorry. dude. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. Scar. So... Uh, <laughs> I have that saved on a soundboard. Hold on. Wait, 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 There it is. It's just me. Okay, so. Do the recap so that I can play D&D. Okay. So we walked around the cabin for a little bit. We discovered that, I believe, like, there was some sort of break-in, so we ended up searching around for clues, who we do style, we figured out that the person who owned the cabin was a dude named Kadan Fairwoods, Firdwoods, whatever. Um, and uh, he was searching out this cave for a little bit after tracking a deer down, and he ended up getting mauled by a cougar. No, he ended up getting mauled by a yeti. And uh, we ended up leaving the cabin uh, after staying there for the night, after you know getting to know each other for a little bit, and we were attacked by said yeti. Um, we then proceeded to absolutely blast that Yeti into oblivion, um, with absolutely no remorse, and, uh, beat, uh, Noro and, <laughs> Noro and Fenris ended up smoking that Sig Zaza, and, uh, we walked into the, uh, woods for a little bit, and ended up discovering a couple of gnolls, which for some reason we spared, uh, mostly just because we probably didn't want to get mauled by gnolls. Funny and... little guy. Oh no, guys. we would have killed them. We would have murdered them. them. They would. They were dead. And um, after all of that, uh, we, yeah, we just ended up going back to, um, where we heading towards? We're heading where towards. We, uh, I think we Brin left. Shander. We we left. We left off, I believe, approaching the gates of Bryn Shander. Yeah, so we were approaching Bryn Shander, and along the path, uh, in terms of notable items we discovered, were things like um, a couple of small knife. Little I items. got a bow. Yeah, I uh, had a, a box. Yeah, a, a small box with an engraving on the inside, like depicting like the ocean and everything. You managed to get a bow. I have a local bestiary. I have like a little knife with like a deer head as like a handle and we discovered like two small little items, one resembling um, one that's like a little obsidian fly and the other one's a small wooden deer and uh, that's about it. Yippee. Okay. Yippee. Yippee. Um, okay. uh, Gwen and Archie also have snowshoes and extra winter clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, I swear Noro got like attachments for his shoes. Oh yeah, you got oh, the yeah, I got oh yeah, the other. little things. The ice. I got yeah. the crumb ones that allow me to watch that allow me to walk on ice a little bit better. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Um okay, so you guys will find yourself kind of on the road leading up to Brinchander. Brinchander is located on the top of a uh, of a, not a super not particularly high, but a pretty large hill. Um there was that one gif in the in-game info, which is sort of a, a good visual of it. Um, but as you're as you're approaching, you'll you'll the first thing you'll notice is the the large wooden walls um, that completely encircle the whole town. Um, they're uh, let me let me see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Whatever they're 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 tall. They're they're very they're very like tall wooden walls, kind of made of individual trees, sort of strapped together. Um, with like kind of guard posts throughout the whole thing, and you'll see see long, long cabin. 
you'll see you'll see long like um kind of kind of draped uh, um banners on the outside that have this symbol on it that I'll send into that uh that channel um but just just big long white drapes with that sort of you know design engraved on it um and as you w walk up to the front gates um they are closed but uh you do see um kind of two guards posted um up on top of like the towers near the the front of the gates and they'll sort of like eye you as as you're as you're walking in or you're walking towards it city's closed with the dragons about official business only <laughs> my god <laughs> Um, Fenris looks up into the sky and tries to ascertain what the time is. Um, it's about, it's, it's, it's a little past sunset. Um, well, what would be sunset, of course, but, you know, you'll see, you'll see across the sky right now, there is a, um, there's a very kind of, like, wibbly-wobbly looking aurora uh, across the whole sky. You say we're at the front gate, right? Like uh, yeah, you're, you're about, you're about at, like, the south, southwest gate, um, of the, of the okay. whole town. Gotcha, gotcha. Glad uh, we got to civilization Sorry. before dark. Yes, it's good. Hopefully, we won't run into any more monstrosities out there. You'll um, you'll see the kind of you know the two guards up up above sort of like lean into one another, like they'll they're like kind of talking, and then um, one of them you know will will signal down to somebody behind the gate as the uh, as the two big wooden doors sort of draw open, um, and it open up to the inside of the town. You'll see kind of the the faint lights throughout this kind of main street, um, sort of like like lanterns hanging from you know inside of, inside of windows and, and outside of uh, different buildings as it opens up kind of that big main street on the inside. Gods, I hope they have a bath at this inn. <laughs> yes, I could use could use a shower myself. I've been out in the forest for a long time, and my sweat is frozen to my body. <laughs> tough. Fenris, Fenris <laughs> looks at Nara and is uh, simply covered in Yeti gore. <laughs> I'm nervous either. <either. laughs> Arterial splatter covering him. Um, yeah. Are the guards like blocking our our way? Or uh, no, no, they're out? they're like kind of like up on a, up on like the sort of two guard post tower sort of things like that are kind of a part of the wall. Um, but the, the the doors to the town are now like uh, open. Do you think we should tell the guards about, well, the caravan? That sounds like a good idea. Best mm, we maybe maybe they'll pay us for killing the yeti. Probably. I'd be surprised uh, if we would find such generosity this early on. Hmm. You never know, it seemed like quite a pest. Then again, it is their um, job to investigate things like this. Uh, Fenris, like, kind of waves up them, like making a come down yeah. here gesture. You'll see, you'll see kind of one of them look over and then sort of like lean themselves over the little thing and, you know, like, kind of, kind of yell, yell down, like, what, what, what are you waiting for? Like, you know, enter, enter the city. <laughs> that sort of like, uh, sort of, sort of more confused, like of, uh, you know, like what? What do? What do you need? Uh, we have I mean, something to report. Is there anywhere we can where we can talk to somebody about it? Um, he'll sort of, you know, he'll sort of rub his chin a little Your bit. Commanding officer. Um, he kind of like he kind of like perks up for a moment. He, he says, um, "Southwell," and he'll kind of uh, he'll he'll look to the guy next to him and be like. You, if if you have anything to uh, if you have anything kind of urgent to report, you should go straight to uh, speaker speaker du, Duvessa Shane. Um, speaker Duvessa Shane. She's uh, up in the. One second. Well, we've already been walking this far. You can uh, you can find her at the uh, the town hall um, at that the town square, kind of just just up the street to the right. If you're looking for a, uh, you know, a place to kind of warm up from your travels, that's also going to be at the, uh, at the, 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 at the North Look, which you can find at the the north end of town. And uh, Fenris gives him a. Oh, oh, go on. That's <laughs> just Nora asking if, do they have a bath? Uh, no, 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 I'll I'll just wait until afterwards. 
What's up? Or was Nora saying? No, I was just asking if they have a bath in the in the area they're staying. He'll, the guy, the guard, will kind of chuckle and be like, "Yeah, at the at the North Look, they have a uh, they have a they have a bathhouse in back." Thank you. Thank God. It's just, I mean, they are like some of them are covered in blood, so. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't bathed in two weeks. <laughs> oh God. Average fantasy character. <laughs> <laughs> As you not are, like I'm going like... to be getting into any streams here. Yeah. He gives the guard like a mocking salute as he like starts walking away. Well, not a mocking salute as in like a rude, but you know, like sure, two fingers sure. salute. Yeah. Yeah. No, just kind of like nods in his direction, puts his spear over his shoulders and just kind of keeps walking behind Fenris. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. As you um, as you guys are kind of you know like entering the the front of this town, the big the big big wooden doors will kind of you know shut behind you. Um, and there's there is not a whole lot of puzzle and bustle, especially at nighttime as it's uh, as it's getting colder and colder. But you will see a um, kind of a a man in in sort of like a thick a thick leather vest with like a a yellow undercoat and a cap, sort of uh, hunched over like on a bench nearby. And he'll as you guys uh, enter in, you'll you'll see him sort of you know look up just absentmindedly, but then then perk up at the sight of um at the sight of Archie, and uh, sort of sort of stand up, brush himself off of a of the little bit of the snow that has covered him. And he'll um he'll walk up to Archie and, and say, "Hey, I've I've it's Archie Archie Mornstein, right?" Um, yes, that's me. He'll sort of uh reach in reach into his pocket and um pull out pull out a little uh or not um. a little bag, but just a um, <laughs> what gun. He pulls out a gun. No. <laughs> He pulls out a gun and says, Plow! and then just fires. I can't, I can't believe it. Uh, I'm sorry. He'll say, uh, <laughs> he'll say, I was weird. I, uh, I have a, I have a, I have a parcel for you. I've, uh, been, been tasked to, tasked to hand, hand, to, hand off to you, but, uh, you were supposed to get here, get here a couple days ago. I assume the worst. Um, and he'll sort of, um, he'll hand you a, a small, like, blue kind of felt bag. Um, and, uh, yeah, he'll 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 hand that off to you, um, and sort of wait. Gwen is on high alert right now. <laughs> oh well, um, pipe bomb. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> um, very... Pipe bomb in my mailbox. Like, <laughs> um, Enrus just sort of glances over at Nora and says, "Well, that was very quick and convenient." Certainly. Not. I've been looking for you. Well, Got something I'm supposed to deliver. <laughs> Your hands only. Your hands only. Yeah, no, that was straight up like a like a Skyrim quest. Like you just so happened to walk into the right area with the trigger. Uh, Carson, <laughs> hmm. I would like to give the guy a. I'd like Nora to kind of give the guy a once over, try to gauge what he's thinking. Um, so it's kind of a he's he's not necessarily a frail man, but he's 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 relatively short, not necessarily built. Um, wearing kind of a thick leather jacket, yellow yellow sort of undercoat. He has kind of like a cap on. Um, sort of like something you'd imagine you wear like under under a helmet, like that kind of just like peasant cap looking thing. Um, mm -hmm. but um, otherwise, you know, not not a not a certainly not an aggressive person at all. You you kind of you can kind of assume that he's a courier of some sort. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, when you're when you're uh. When you're looking at him, you'll you'll sort of, you know, focus in a little bit more, and and you you can can ascertain um, that he's cold. He's a little bit frustrated. You know, he had a, he had a tinge of uh, worried worriedness to him, um, but has since been you know relieved seeing that the person you're supposed to deliver something to is uh, no longer or is not uh, not actually dead like he assumed. Mm. Nora just kind of nods and he's like, "Okay, he should be fine. Let's move on." <laughs> well, um, thank you for the package, sir. I'll be sure to open it when I have more convenient timing. He'll sort of, uh, he'll sort of do like a little like hat cap cap raise, and you'll can see that his head underneath is uh is is shaved. And then you say, "Okay, got to go." And then he'll sort of like pass pass beside you and uh and, and you know head south towards the uh the gate. Uh, you see, well, like he it. kind that's of goes good. to open the double barrel like. With a double doored fucking gate, like a door, and then he just disappears. <laughs> yeah, they, it cracks open slightly, and he like fades away. <laughs> oh, he must have been a fae. 
It's all just weird NPC bullshit. Um, well, let's go see that South, whatever his name was. Alright, cool. Do you remember his name? I don't. Speaker Shane? There's um Speaker Du Shane. Yeah, there's there's Sir, there's Speaker Duvessa Shane, and then he also uh, mentioned the name Southwell when you talked about some sort of like captain or something. Uh, Southwell captain. South bucket or something. So swear. Let me check my map. Um, the, I'm not very good at human names. The guard the guard would have mentioned um, uh, he mentioned that there is the the north look, which is kind of like the inn. You surmise at the uh, the north north end of town and then a um a town hall at the center of town where you might be able to find somebody like Duvessa Shane. Hmm. Well I think we were just going to go tell um whichever authority we um we should about uh what's it called? The the caravan. Mm-hmm. Oh I forgot to fucking play shit on the fucking thing. Should we go see the captain or the speaker? Well probably the captain, right? Uh, probably the the captain. I don't know what a speaker is. That sounds like a politician. Yeah. Yeah, like someone. And we are down. Yeah, we are reporting like a missed caravan. Do we know what a speaker is? I um, mean, the natives here, they probably do. Is that like a... So, like a so Noro, Noro I suppose, would, would know that a speaker of the um, of 10 towns, each each of the 10 separate towns has a speaker, and it's sort of their equivalent of a mayor. Um mm-hmm. They're, you know, the ten. You would know the ten towns aren't necessarily under one government, but there is kind of a meeting of the speakers um, for any sort of, you know, issue that pertains to to all towns. Um, but for the most part, you know, the speakers kind of uh, are, are pretty pretty one to one a mayor that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. So, like telling them about that, they probably report it to the captain anyway. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pardon me. Well. What do you consider more important, speaking to the mayor or speaking to the captain? I don't see why we talk to a politician. I would agree. It does seem more of a defense slash militia issue. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a man of action will appreciate the grim trophy we brought a bit more. You mean this? He's just kind of like lifts up the head of the yeti that he's kind of has over his shoulder <laughs> uh penris grabbed the horn from it like he oh, fucking okay. hacked the horn off gotcha, because gotcha. he uh he kind of destroyed the head when he cleaved it in half oh good point All right. the head is not real the head is gone i mean you could technically take the head to him but it would be like two halves of a head <laughs> <laughs> Nora just has like a sack that's been like dripping all of the way all the way there. Guards didn't notice it. It's just under Fucking his Medusa under head his in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Two halves of the Medusa. Yeah. Nah, he didn't. Yeah, so it. We're, we're just going straight to that guy, the, the captain, yeah. Southwell. Yeah, you, you figure you might be able to find him um, probably in the town hall if you were to uh, head over there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, so he probably would be yeah. talking with the speaker anyway. Yeah, yeah. so as, as you guys, you know, are kind of, you head sort of towards the center of town. Here, let me get a... Um, Shoot, I don't have a picture of it. Let me let me get one real quick. The town map. Oh, I forgot to fucking put shit on the fucking bot. Now I need to look for Oblivion music. Oh yeah, I forgot to watch together. Beep boop. Um, here we go. Okay, yeah. What's that sentence? Yeah, so you guys came in from the um, the south southwest sort of a uh, southwest gate. Um, you can see, uh, yeah. So as you guys kind of you know continue forward, heading to the center of town, um, you'll see a uh, the the large kind of um, it's not particularly regal. Most of these towns around here, or most of these these uh, buildings around here, are still like cabins. Um, but um, it's it's kind of a, l- a large large wooden hall. Um, with those same, you know, banners kind of adorning it in front of this uh, this town center, um, and uh, if you guys decide to enter, um, let me see. I would like to quick save. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> F five. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, so as you, as you guys enter, um, you'll see sort of a, a, there's a large sort of long fire pit in the center. Um, they have kind of a, a, a spoke over it. Nothing, nothing, nothing on right now, but that, you know, that fire in the center is warming up the, uh, the big insides of this hall. Um, there's two kind of large staircases um, on either side that, that head up to kind of an upper level. And then at the, um, at the center of this hall, at the very, very back, uh, beyond kind of a, a large sort of like dark, purple and blue sort of ragged uh, carpet that leads up to a, um, a large a large wooden chair um, sort of like intricately carved it has it has um, it has those same kind of antlers uh, adorning it as well as the iconography of that um, like the wheat sort of uh, around it um, there's nobody sitting in it this room is mostly empty there are two guards kind of uh, stationed on, on either side of the doorway but um, otherwise there's there's a there's like kind of a door that goes off to the, the right side of the building and also one off to the left um, you can hear some uh, kind of chattering coming from the uh, the door to the right. Gotcha. Noro kind of paces around the room, just sort of stands in a spot where he can kind of like look into both, not like entering the left and right door, but in the middle of the room where you could probably see like through the left or right door right. if they're open. The um as you as you as you sort of just like um walk into this kind of town hall, one of the one of the guards at the door sort of like. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take a step forward. Not not like fully like blocking you off, but being you know like well, what, what what business do you have here? Like what do you? We're looking for your captain. He'll kind of he'll kind of give a small chuckle and say like uh, like so <laughs> like like sheriff sheriff Southwell. He'll and he'll kind of looks the other guard and sort of nod his head over to the right and he says um he's he's kind of a in a in middle of a meeting right now, but you can find him over. Over at the, uh, How many people the were in our uh, caravan, more or less? Um, you'd say like two dozen, maybe, somewhere around there. Yeah, no, that's two a, dozen. In the, in the 24? 20s. In the twenties, yeah. He actually probably just killed the caravan of twenty people outside we're, of town. We're the only survivors. Ever. It's a bit urgent. He, he looks we're a little. Bit, he survivor. looks a little bit grim and says, "You know, that's some something's." Uh, kind of seems all too common nowadays but i'm 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 surprised that there was even a caravan to, trying to come into 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 uh into icewind dale i i thought that most of them you know decided to stop doing that a couple years ago uh what was the name of the, the two brothers um, that they were the um shit what the fuck were they? i remember they sounded like youtubers that's the thing <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they were the the mccready the brothers McCready brothers. The McCready siblings. We were brought in by two twin brothers, the McCready's. Do you know them? Well, uh, he'll sort of, you know, like think for a moment. Um, I uh, feel, I feel like I recognize those names. Maybe, maybe from over in, over in Lonely Wood. But uh, I didn't, I didn't know that they were, you know, trying to ship people in and out out of the Dale. Well, they brought us, and and unfortunately, well, they brought them. Um, I'm the I suppose we could. Suppose we could meet with him tomorrow. Well, how long has the meeting been going on for? He'll sort of, he'll sort of, you know, take a deep inhale and be like, I don't know, maybe, maybe a few hours at this point. I wasn't. <laughs> he kind of, kind of, sort of, sort of chuckles. But I wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention. But um, I can, I can certainly uh, let him know about this in a. Uh, Point him in your direction if whenever the meeting's over. You sure we can't just wait here, right by the door? I mean, if you if you'd like, I I don't I just don't know how long this uh how long he's gonna be in there. That should I be think, fine. I think I would rather have a bar. Sorry, you on? I was going to say I think it'd be a good idea for the two of you to clean yourselves up before a business meeting like this. I'm sure it will be fine. Noro cannot smell himself. <laughs> I normally do my business meetings a fair bit bloodier than this. Well, I assure you, everyone else will appreciate it. Oopsie. First impressions are very important, after all. Noro just kind of sighs, and he's like, fine. If you say so. Enris looks down at Archie, a uh, faceless, Nazgul looking fucking like the tall figure of doom. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. 
the uh, one of the, like the other guard, the one that wasn't speaking, kind of looks down at his, uh, his like his kind of his kind of garb. He has sort of has like a long like uh, uh, like cloth at the front that has the the t- kind of town's logo on it, and it has kind of various like stains and blood stains. And he sort of like looks at it and just kind of frowns a little bit. <laughs> He, he looks at, at my thing sorry no no he, he like look like after archie says like everybody would appreciate it he looks at his like own kind of like messy or garb and he's like oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no i didn't mean Wait. it like that no as i um i look at what the the two guards again real quick and like as we're turning away to leave mm-hmm. and i say um by the way are there any wizards in town They'll uh they'll sort of think for a moment, think uh no 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 wizards that we're we're aware of. I mean there might be some some visiting from one of the other towns, but um we have we have a we do have a a cleric who's up at the um the house of the morning lord up at the uh, north end of town. Besides that, no no Last end. Um mm. They'll kinda of, they'll kinda of look at each other and be like, Yeah, 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 Lathander, yeah. Lathander. Well, Maybe they know the wizard. He mumbles that more to himself than anything. Um, as he's as he like turns to leave. By the way, he like he flicks his uh his hand towards the one god, and he uses prestidigitation. Ah. And he cleans and he cleans his armor. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He kind of just like he kind of smiles and nods. Noro kind of, like, looks back at them for a moment as if kind of, like, looking over their appearances for a bit before mm-hmm. he just kind of turns back and uh, begins to walk out the door. Mm-hmm. As if trying to kind of, like, remember their faces for later. Sure, sure. Yeah. I was like the, imag- the magical equivalent of, like, flipping a coin at someone. I just realized. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so as you guys kind of kind of leave, you'll, you'll find yourself sort of in that, that town square. Um sort of sort of area um across the kind of like i think we're basically just making our salt um our way straight to the inn sure sure um you'll pass by at that point um kind of there's blacksmith over on the right on the other side um, and as you kind of you know walk up the street as you draw near mm-hmm. to the north look you'll you'll kind of um you kind of hear the noise noise level start going going up a little bit you'll hear kind of like uh like chanting and sort of you know like lots of lots of like just general rowdiness and as you're kind of you know approaching the front door it, it kind of comes to a Generous pretty loud, up. Pre- it comes to it comes to a, like a pretty loud like like just chanting and murmur from the uh from the from the inside does it have like saloon doors uh yeah pretty much yeah yeah I fucking throw those fucking saloon doors open wide. <laughs> as the uh, just... as the the doors crack open, the uh, the sound that would be loud from them is is just completely drowned out by the inside of this tavern, which is just completely like rowdy. Just just you know people people cheering, you know like throwing mugs together. I need some tons good of, rowdy uh, fucking. You can see like Bomb a um, you can see like a gnome swinging on the chandelier at the top of the uh, <laughs> top of the town. You'll see some people like uh, pushing chairs open. There's people playing cards, people drinking, you know, uh, all all this kind of thing. Oh, that's exactly. I what like it here. <laughs> all right. I don't know any like a good rowdy fucking like D and D ish fantasy <laughs> yeah right the loud music um hmm. okay 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 yeah. Nero kind of gives the gives the bar up once around just trying to kind of like look at everything yeah, can happened. i make a can i make a perception check just like sure around yeah. okay um uh, yeah go ahead i'll assist that investigation yeah. check too yeah go for it can I do that too? Ooh, yeah. First, nineteen. Nineteen, lovely. And then sorry, that was perception. 20. Perception. Oh, yeah. okay. Matt, twenty. Me too. Wait, real? Uh, Yo. Dirty twenty. No, no that's not twenty. Oh, Our no, eyes no, are that's fucking okay. all Six. wide open right now. Oh, right. So as you enter this place, you will see, you know, mostly most of what I described before you. Um, you'll see kind of a um an older an older gentleman running the bar um, who has kind of like shortcut uh, gray hair with a um, sort of like gruff beard 
Um, he's sort of like rushing rushing around a little bit, but uh, he doesn't seem too too panicked or anything. It's, it seems like a normal night for him. Um, you'll see, you know, di different groups of, of folk, different ones. Um, you'll notice uh, on the wall is a is a particularly like large mounted fish um, with the um, with kind of a, a little a little bronze plaque below it that says "Old Bitey" um, it's inscribed <laughs> underneath. Um, same thing before the chandeliers still kind of swinging a little bit from that uh, that gnome who's now like passed out on the floor. Um, you'll uh, what else might you see? Um, you'll notice there's kind of like there's a there's a and, there's a bookshelf uh, that's mostly mostly empty. Most of the shit's been like kind of knocked to the floor. Um, and there's kind of a door that goes out back supposedly <laughs> to the, uh, the the washroom. Mm -hmm. And then a oh, staircase upstairs. Nice. Mm. Noro kind of like approaches the gnome passed out on the floor and kind of puts his hand on his head just to make sure he's like not dead. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely just like drunk. He's like slobbering on the ground. He's he, he's all right, but you know, just a little <laughs> little, little, little tuckered out. Uh, Nora tries to get a small little read on him. Um, uh, you'll 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 find that there's uh he's he. What okay? What do what do you mean? What do you mean by read? Just kind of like trying to get gauge who this guy is um you can't really tell too much but uh, you, you imagine he's probably probably from around here you know he has that sort of uh sort of like a similar attire to most other people around here just you know big heavy cloaks uh or that sort of thing um he's he's maybe like maybe in his like like 20s um but you know seems kind of just like some guy he has he, his fr his friends are sitting at the table nearby and are sort of like eyeing you as you're like looking over him and passed out but they're they're honestly too they're too out of it to really to really care and they're sort of just like laughing at each other at their uh, friend who's still knocked out on the ground Nora just gives them a kind of fr as as friendly a smile as he can and just kind of stands up and walks back up to the group uh -huh. Fenris is uh marching confidently towards the bar yeah. uh -huh. The, uh, uh, follow. Ditto. Lovely, lovely. Um, oh my goodness. Bathroom scene. <laughs> yeah. Thunder. We're all new. Sauna here. Take your clothes off. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, ba -ba -ba. So yeah, as you're as you're approaching, you know, there's there's hardly any space at the bar, um, but there's there you, you manage to kind of like wiggle your way in, um, as you'll see the um the 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 human barkeep at the front sort of uh after after a moment kind of gets over to you and he sort of rests over on the bar he's like oh, okay what can i do for you guys does a bath come with a room or mm. uh he'll kind of uh here let me i i, I need to double check that how much does a fucking <laughs> in room usually cost <laughs> mm -hmm. Fenris gestures to himself um and says uh We've had a long day. Oh yeah, what uh, what, what you, what you, what you lovely folks get up to today? You'll, as you'll sort he, of uh, he holds up like a kind of like gory horn uh -huh. from a yeti. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I cleaved something in half. We saw twenty people die. He'll sort, he'll sort, he'll sort of chuckle and immediately, like you know, kind of like reach out for the uh, for the horn to uh, to examine it if you uh, if you relent. Yeah, no, he, like, tosses it over to him pretty, yeah. like, casually. He'll sort, he'll sort of, like, look around at it, and you'll see his eyes sort of glow up, and he's like, ah, oh, I, I remember the first time I killed a Yeti. And you'll sort of uh, be be looking around, and he's like, this must have... Fenris is, like, immediately leaning forward on the counter. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. Before I was a, uh, before I was a, an innkeep here, you know, I used to be quite the sellsword myself, and you'll sort of, he's sort of, like, rubbing his beard as he uh, hands back the... The, the horn. Before I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Before I took an <laughs> um, But you'll say... This man actually uh, takes an arrow to the knee. <laughs> let me see, sorry. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ugly fuckers, aren't they? Yeah, no, beat, beat red skin, it's uh, uh, ugly bastard, really. He'll, um, he'll sort of uh, go back for a moment and say, well, uh, for... for for a room, it'll be a uh, it'll be a gold piece each in the, uh, the bathhouse, you know. If, if you buy a room, you can feel free to use. He, um, he flicks a gold coin over to. I believe I, believe I had ten gold. I, I I flick a gold coin over to the innkeeper and. Uh, something strong and fruity. Fruity. 
he'll sort of he'll sort of think for a moment, sort of like nod as he uh, kind of turns around to look through the bottles. Noro kind of sits by like the fire, and um, he kind of like he pulls out his mess kit a little bit and kind of like sets up the um, the yeti stick over it. Just kind of pulls out his koto and starts playing. Mm-hmm. You'll see. You'll, I guess the the kind of roar of the uh, the room will, will sort of die down a little bit as you start to play. As kind of the most of the um, most of the pretty wasted people around around you sort of stop their conversations and listen in. Mm-hmm. When um when Fenris gets his drink, he does give everyone in the party a salute, and then he slips off into the bath. Mm-hmm. Would you mind sharing a room, Doctor? <laughs> no, of course not, Gwen. Do you have room for two or rooms for two, Mbaki? He'll sort of look around and be like, uh, "Yeah, we have we have a few with uh, with larger beds upstairs." Um, he'll sort of think to himself. There's also a uh, here. Let me see. Ba-ba-ba. Yeah, yeah. So you'll kind of he'll kind of explain that he has like um he has he has room he's, he has a room with like kind of two single beds, one single bed, one kind of larger bed, and then kind of just different assortment different assortments of of any of those really uh, to take your pick Gwen I'll I'll pay for whichever room are you sure of course yeah um two single beds please all right. they're all gonna be uh gonna be one gold piece each um as you guys are sort of you know the you know handing over handing over the payment for uh each of these room you'll um you'll kind of Gwen you'll you'll notice notice out of the corner of your eye um a uh, a a a dwarven uh, woman sitting in a um, kind of kind of one of the tables off off on the side of the room, sort of you know eyeing you guys from a distance. Perception check. Amen. Gotta love that fucking <laughs> fifteen <laughs> passive perception. Cut there. Uh, twenty one. Are they eyeing? Um, who are they eyeing specifically? Um, from what Gwen could tell is that uh that they they've kind of had their had their eyes on you for the most most mostly after after um. After Fenris pulled out the uh, the the uh, Yeti horn. Mm, okay. I'll lean over to these two that are here. Uh, don't look now, but there's a dwarf in the corner who's been staring at us for a while. Mm. Mm. Noro, Noro kind of like he kind of like nods in their direction. He keeps playing, but like you know, his eyes are kind of like focused on the dwarven woman in the corner. As you guys, uh, you know, once basically, basically around when you know they, you all start noticing that uh, she's been looking at you. She'll kind of uh, put down, put down her mug and stand up and start, uh, start walking over. Um, gonna shuffle in front of Archie real quick. <laughs> yeah, real quick. Sarah <laughs> so doesn't yeah. get up from where he is. He's still. I, I like to think he he kind of like pulls the the Yeti steak out on like a knife. Like the like the deer knife, and he just kind of like takes a bite out of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just double checking with the quick. Ar- Archie will turn to, well, will turn her head to face the the woman. As um, she'll kind of you know kind of come up come up next to you guys at the uh, at the bar and sort of lean over and nod at the the barkeep who kind of you know gives a friendly smile as he continues you know like washing out different mugs and uh, things behind the bar, and she'll look over to you and say. Uh, Sounds like uh sounds like you guys have been through wait here the way Sounds like you guys have had a kind of a, a rough day. You could, uh, say, you could say it's just another Sorry. day at the office, really. Hmm. She'll she'll, you know, stretch I'll, I'll reach an arm to uh to, to Gwen to to shake hands and say, um uh the name's uh, uh Lynn Trollbane. I've been um Lynn Trollbane. I've been doing Lynn a bit of a Bit of uh, work around town. I don't know if you've uh, heard heard from many of these many of these drunk folk. I don't know if any of them are. Most of them, I, I suppose, are here to distract themselves. But uh, there's been there's been quite a few uh, disappearances recently out of uh, out of Bryn Shander, even a few towns around it. Most of the ten towns. I've been uh, looking for looking for some folk who you know might be able to handle themselves a little bit a little bit better than this lot. They're. Uh, here, sorry, wait, I can put you on. Sorry, just one second, as I realize my notes are all kind of fucked up. Wait. 
Ba -ba -ba. Noise. And it's oh. just taking a bath while this is happening. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're, we're we're just volunteering him for work. <laughs> oh, yep. Also, I will I will probably have to leave like right at five thirty. Yeah, well. no, that's oh, totally fine because okay. I have to have to too. Okay. Mm. Just so it's like no surprise. Mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. Is that an hour from now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So she'll she'll kind of uh, begin to explain that you know she was a um, she was a former uh, headhunter, but um, now you can you know see by the bags under her eyes um, she uh, she's 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 getting old now. You know she's she's a little too um, too old to take care of it of herself. But um, but uh, she she shit. I have to explain this whole thing. Wait, sorry. <laughs> You're good. No, oh, the DM having to do his job. No, oh, fuck, God. I have what um, I have what Noro's playing on Makoto just behind this next song. Ooh, lovely. Yeah. Let me get in here. Oh, you can skip through it if you want. I don't mind. Oh, I don't know how to skip it. Let me see here. You just click on the this one. There we go. By headhunter, do you mean like? She was the head hunter, or she hunted heads. She hunted like heads. A bounty hunter. Yeah, bounty hunter. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah. So she'll 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 explain. Um. Um. <clears throat> okay. 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 Yeah. So she'll uh, she'll say, you know, if you haven't noticed, uh, sun hasn't rose of over over Icewind Dale in quite a while, and uh, some of the some of the people in these towns are starting to get a little paranoid about it being uh, our real's doing. She'll kind of you know look around and sort of more in hushed tones talk about um. People have started making sacrifices, um, to hopefully to to appease her in, in some extent. So, you know, some people some people give give out money in the middle of the night. Some people, you know, will put out food and things they've hunted. But uh, some of these towns, including this one, have started sacrificing people at night. It's the uh, oh. every 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 full moon. They think it's the uh, the only way to uh, to appease her. But it's been two years and it's not working. So I think it's a uh, I think it's not going to be doing anything, but yet these towns decide to continue to keep keep to keep doing it. Um, but from what I can tell, some people have been trying to uh, pay off different 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 higher ups, trying to get out of this uh, out of this lottery. Because the uh, the lottery. town, yeah, the town, the towns, um, they'll they'll pull random names from townsfolk to see who 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 gets to who has to be sacrificed. But um, seems like some people have been trying to get out of it, and ever since then, some people have been being have have been murdered out of these out of these bigger towns at night only in the towns that are sacrificing people every uh Would every... Noro, um know of this uh all? yeah yeah so you'll you'll know that um you know a few months after the uh the lights kind of started going out people started making uh sacrifices to oral um people in the 10 towns you know recognize oral as the uh, as the the goddess of of winter and cold and um most people who revere her revere her out of out of more out of fear um, than anything than out of like actual wanting to you know worship this deity. But most people make you know sacrifices and pray to her. You know, praying for mercy and kind of a shorter winters. You know, less less bitter cold. Um, but it seems that you know in this uh, in this uh, more more frantic state, most people have um, have started getting a little bit uh, more exaggerated, and now it's like a town wide um, sacrifice is being made. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. So she'll, she'll continue to kind of, um, go on about, um, how, how, how each of these murders, um, have been, have been taking, have been taking place. Everybody has have, has had a uh, knife wounds, some found with like pieces of ice stuck in these wounds mm. that she's, uh, she believes she's tracked down the killer, but she can't, um, she can't, uh, she, she's not able to do it herself and none of the, uh, none of the guards, um, think it's uh, worthwhile looking into. Um, what do you mean you can't do it yourself? Well, she'll kind of you know look down to herself. I've I've grown old. I've uh, I'm not um, I'm not as strong as I as I used to. And and if if it is who I think it is, I'm I'm not sure I could fight it myself. And I have quite a I've 
I've quite, uh, I'm sitting on a quite quite an amount of gold from uh, from my old headhunting days, and I have enough to spare that I, I figure I can hire somebody else to do it. She'll kind of look around at you. If you, if you folks are interested, I can uh, you know give you a little bit more information and see what you're what you're working on. Is would this be something you're interested, Doctor? Interested in, Doctor? It sounds like a fun opportunity to get to know the townsfolk potentially too as well. I think it's okay. a, a good experience. Plus, I'm sure we could use a little bit of extra pocket change to spend. How much would we be getting paid? That's a good question. All of it. We'd be getting paid all of it. Denied. I choose none. <laughs> She'll kind of, you know, kind of, kind of stroke her 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 chin, um, and you'll see that she's a, you know, an, an older dwarven dwarven woman. She has mostly braids in her hair, but she sort of has like graying, dark red hair. Um, most of it tied up into a knot or kind of a bun on the back of her head, and then two kind of long, like thick braids coming down the side of her face. Um, mm-hmm. Right now, she's she's wearing kind of a kind of a a cloak that has sort of like a big, like a uh, puffy sort of. Uh, um, I don't know, you can, whatever type of fur it is, but kind of wrapping around her neck that's sort of uh, tattered a little bit just from age. You know, it seems like something she's had for a long time. Um, mm-hmm. Adorned with kind of a, a large battle axe over her, her back and then a shorter hand axe on her side. Um, she'll say, uh, well, if you're able to if you're able to take out the target, well, I'd I'm, I'm be willing to fork over 100, 100 gold. She'll sort of be saying most of this in hushed tones as to uh, not not right, right. arouse too many folks around her. Uh, who well, is this per sorry person? She's uh, This is Lynn Trollbane. Uh yeah. Lynn I mean, Trollbane, yeah. H the, the suspect. Or no no the, the lady, that. yeah. Um she'll say it's um well if my suspicions are correct, it's a uh, it's a man named Svek Caltro. Here and I'll send a I'll send a little thing. Um, ba, ba, ba. Sorry, I have to type this out. Ba, ba, ba. You're good. Try to pick a more sinister um, tone for the Koto this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay. So she'll, she'll say it's a... Uh, this man named uh, Svek Kaltro. Um, as far as I'm aware, he's uh, working for a um, a small traveling merchant company called Torgs, owned and operated by a shady dwarf named Torga Icevane. He's uh he's on the move constantly as he goes around with with Torgs, but uh, supposedly every time he's he's in one of these larger towns, he'll uh he'll do his work at night. Okay bit of a bit of a silver tongue you know he's he's able to, to charm charm a lot of a lot, lot of folks he talks to but uh i can't i it's something off something seems off about him considering he he walks around at night you know he he, he wears kind of a he, he doesn't he doesn't wear any uh uh like thick thick clothing like like most people have to out in out in the cold he's he just says like he, she, she'll describe him as just having like you know rolled up sleeves and he's he doesn't seem to be bothered by by much of the cold outside um maybe he's not a fucking pussy <laughs> damn <laughs> yeah. um, just, just imagining fucking fenris shouting this from the uh bathroom uh, just, <laughs> he's not a fucking pussy damn um noro tries to kind of like think about this if he remember if he knows if there's any like species or people that live out in the Icewind Dale that are resistant to the cold um make a I would say a history check history check okay yeah. let me roll uh I'm gonna oh, wait, need more proof that this man is truly a suspect that he just doesn't seem right do you have any She'll kind of, she'll kind of, she'll kind of cross her arms and, and sort of squint and say, "Well, frankly, this isn't, this isn't any sort of murder mystery here. This is, this is a manhunt. I, I, I know this is the man who did it. 
who's who's been who's been committing these murders. I uh, I don't have much to uh, give you other than my word. Okay. Right, so that's a uh, fifteen on history. Fifteen. Okay. Um. So you'll vaguely recall maybe last time uh, at some point when you were in the towns maybe uh maybe overhearing it from somebody speaking of RL. Um. But as far as you're aware, there's there's not any any specific race or anything that uh, would be resistant to the cold. But you have heard that um, some some people who were born um, on uh, the winter solstice um, are blessed by uh, Aurel to be slightly more resistant to the cold. You figure that this might be the case. This is the closest thing you can remember that that fits this description. Okay. Well, my next question for you, Miss Trollbane, would be. Do you want this man dead or alive? She'll kind of, uh, she'll kind of chuckle a bit. She says, "Are oh. fucking shredding in the background." <laughs> <laughs> she'll kind of, uh, she'll kind of chuckle a bit and say, I, "I, I, I don't care if he's left, if he's left alive or dead. He just needs to stop murdering these innocent people." Excellent. Does that change and... our reward at all? Sorry. Does that change our reward at all if we bring him in alive or dead? She'll kind of, she'll kind of give, she'll kind of give him a look and be like, "I'm, I'm, I'm only offering what I'm offering. I, I'm, I'm paying you this money to stop, to stop these murders. I don't care how it's done. Just be aware that um, the guards aren't, uh, aren't too into my ideas of this. And uh, if you are to turn them over to the guards, that, that, they, they won't be able to, they won't be able to. Here, how do I, how do I phrase this? That's trustworthy. She'll, she'll be like a. Uh, Hand hand these hand these folks hand this guy into the guards and uh, I mean you. How do I phrase this? So you're saying you're not exactly on good terms with the guards about this? No, I mean the the guards are the guards are fine. I uh I've just tried getting them to do this to do this job to look into this investigations and none of them really seem to be to be too much bothered. They they have a lot more to worry about these days than just a few people dying off, you know. It's a, little, it's a little rough around here. Storm cloaks are too busy with their damn wars. For real. <laughs> Women are being murdered on the street. <laughs> I won't what? stand by while, while spec culture burns my hold and slaughters my people. Fucking spec. Bozo. What does this man look like? Hmm. He's a, um, let me see. Where the fuck is the funny description? She'll, uh, she'll, you know, describe him as, as you know, a man in his thirties, you know, sort of having a darker kind of olive, olive toned skin. Um, he has dark hair pulled back into a ponytail most of the time. No facial, no, no body hair. Um, he's kind of, he's kind of a uh, like she was describing before. You know, he's dressed in sort of a stylish vest with a uh, matching pants and boots. You know, similar style to kind of um, some folks you'd see like more more down down on the on the sword coast. You know, upon like ships and stuff. He kind of has like almost almost like a um, almost like a pirate look about him. Um, mostly mostly just you know like thin thin clothing, big sort of collars, um, pulled back hair. She she talks about how she how she um, she followed this uh, this caravan that he's he's a guard of Torgs uh, for for a 10 day as it as it moved from town to town talks about how it's kind of kind of a it's a shady it's a shady shady enterprise it's uh not a not a very reputable um caravan that he's with but um but still you know traveling between all those places not not wearing any scarf not wearing anything um but yeah she says yeah she doesn't she doesn't care she doesn't care what you do with the uh the rest of the caravan but as long as this this murder is put to rest and you're saying this as a member of the community. Yeah, it's mostly, uh, you know, I would, I would be doing this kind of stuff myself, you know. I, I like, she'll kind of look around, look around the room, you know. I'd like to, I'd like to keep things like this uh, how they are. Hmm. Never kind of looks back down to his koto, just plays a little bit. She'll say, you know, I like, see. so, uh, what do you? What do you say? Are you you interested? I noticed you had a uh, another member who kind of walked off there, but uh, I figure I figure uh, well, still ask the rest of you. Should we turn to the other two? Should we wait for Fenris to return? 
How long will you be here in the end? I, uh... I mean, we can just go talk to all of these people tomorrow after talking about everything. That's a good point. I do also kind of want to do things. Yeah. So, yeah. She says um, she'll she'll be <laughs> here. She, things on the time limit. She says she'll be here for another few days, um, but afterwards she's she's heading back to um, uh, Care Dinaval where she lives. Okay. If you're uh, willing to meet us back here tomorrow morning, we can give you an answer. She says she says she can do that. And that she'll uh, urges you not to take too long, as these uh, you'll never know when the next murder will happen. Right. She'll kind of you know shrug, shrug it off a little, a little, a little frustrated, but she'll you know put down her mug and nod to the nod to the um, the barkeep as she kind of retires back to her uh, her her room upstairs. Sick. Lovely. Guess we'll uh, join Fenris in washing up and going to bed. Yippee! Yippee! Right. <laughs> or we're kind of like. If Fenris has been chilling the fuck out with like this fucking this Kodo playing like from the other room. <laughs> like he's he's sunk in like a steaming pool right now. Bro is being chilly. Yeah. The fact that he's in like um the he's in a he's in like a warm He's in an of, onsen. Yeah, he's in an onsen, yeah. So he's in an onsen with like Japanese music in the background. <laughs> Great fuck. And, chill, and he's got a drink. <laughs> yeah, and he's got a fruity drink too. Living yeah. a life. Nora doesn't immediately go to his room, but he does like flick a coin like from where he's sitting it's up. Nora not camera. also was like washing up because he was covered in like fucking sweat. Nora doesn't really care. Wasn't he, uh, wasn't he playing Our the thing yet? Yeah, the... But he just kind of like puts it on the counter he says I'll take a room to myself thank you the barkeep will you know will nod, nod take the take the coin back and he'll kind of you know explain to you like just upstairs on the left you know one of those rooms gotcha okay like how many gold pieces did I have I can yeah I gotta make sure I remember those um, <laughs> I gotta also keep that. in mind you know every every time you quote unquote long rest you know deduct one uh, one food or one uh, ration you know Oh, yes. Minus one food. Oh, um. Okay, you know I, you know, fa fast forward, right? Like Archie's cleaned up and is mm -hmm. back in her room, and um, would like to open her package sure. that she got. Yeah. Okay. So, ba ba ba. As you, uh, you know, as as you're, as you 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 are done a. Uh, you know, washing up and then retire to your room as you uh, kind of like sit on the um, the straw the straw bed. You know, it's it's still comfortable, not not great, but you know, pretty pretty just modest in this the small room. Um, a small kind of candle lighting up most of the room. You'll you'll have this uh, blue felt bag in your hand as you kind of you know untie the the knot at the top and pull it out. You'll find a um, kind of a, a pretty a pretty plain but but sleek like leather mask. It has um kind of two two larger um. Uh, um, glass kind of uh, peeping holes, you know, two, two, two sort of parts over the over the face, and most of the mask comes out like kind of a kind of elongated, almost as a beak. Um, yeah. If there are any other uh, details you wanted to add to it? Oh my god! <laughs> let's go! Uh, let's go! No, I I think you've described it perfectly. It is Lovely. essentially just a plague doctor's mask, yeah. and it is very simple although of course yeah. the symbology of it does you yeah. know it, it's got a giant peak it's going to stand out and yeah. you know archie will observe this and say ah of course you know i was expecting this to come eventually yeah. although it's simple gwen i i've <laughs> have a more intricate one back home whenever whenever we find ourselves back it's beautiful i don't think i've ever seen anything like it have i i've kept my other one um locked away until the day was right rather i see reaching a <laughs> certain point with my studies
Interesting. So now I have a plague mask. Yippee. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, you'll see, you'll find there's kind of a, there's kind of a small note with it, you know, sort of explaining or sort of sort of like a, a very very short and brief note, but as as you were kind of describing with um your studies and the person who sent it to you, you know, kind of congratulating you on on finishing your studies, and then also sort of like as as a as a, as a little side note, being um being mentioning how um it was a little difficult for them to uh to convince the others to uh to actually send this thing in the first place, or to even get it out all the way to to you out in Icewind Dale trying to figure out where where you were wasn't wasn't an easy task mm -hmm. um but they managed to oh. you know slip it by the by by the others and uh, get it get it sent out to you of what, course of course what is it for if you don't mind me asking uh my studies as a as a doctor gwen see we medici undergo a sort of residency you see and so after a certain point of studying to studying and practicing as a doctor we sort of specialize in a way and so this mask is a symbol of my specialization as a doctor Um, at this point, wait here. Let me let me do a thing real quick. I want you both to make a perception check real quick. Uh, me and yeah. MJ. Yeah. Okey dokey. Twenty one again. <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> um, you'll both you'll both notice kind Fucking. of kind of in the uh the in the flickering um candle candlelight outside the uh, the window. You'll see a um. You'll see you'll see two kind of small figures sort of like scuttle out of view. What? Or <laughs> sorry, outside the window. We gotta yeah. get out of here, dude. There's we gotta we, we gotta fucking go out of here. No, so you'll see um you'll see you'll see <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, there's there's yeah, two two you see two two small figures for kind of just a brief moment, like no no taller than like like three or four inches tall. Um my head snaps to the window and I rush over to look out. Uh -huh. As you as you look out, you'll kind of um, you don't see anything directly in front of the window, but as you as you kind of look to the right, you'll see um, what's what's at first a little hard to 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 describe, but you see you see two two small figures who are kind of cloaked in um big like almost like um like like straw almost like kind of covering 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 their head coming to kind of a um. A more more taut point around their neck and then fraying out almost like kind of a triangle around the rest of their body as they kind of like cling to the side of the wall um they're kind of oh. like a not not, not quite like a, a gutter but as as they kind of see you looking at them they'll, they'll sort of like almost cartoonishly like bumble into each other as they as they try scrambling <laughs> down the side of the side of the building they're on a side on a, on a wall yeah they're they're well they're kind of like on a um sorry like a little like lip like of, of the wood it's kind of like a log okay. building you're in and they're sort of like on the lip of it as they're kind of trying to scramble down gotcha huh <laughs> <laughs> well that's not working <laughs> what 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 do you see when what's out there um i really don't know just two things and straw drapes kind of as you're as you're explaining on one of them one of them slips off and falls um <laughs> into a uh, and kind of with a large snow pile at the bottom and then sort of like scrambles up and, and sort of sort of like waves over at the other the other drops off and then um they kind of uh make their is this escape making a lot of noise sorry what huh is this making a lot of noise uh no not at all that you can you can kind of barely even uh, hear okay. it through the window um yeah, but yeah. I was just wondering, like, if Fenris would hear like these random fucking things scuttling around outside his fucking window. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they're 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 pretty pretty quiet. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll fall to the fall to the ground. And, you know, if we're to just wait and watch. They'll sort of they sort of scramble scramble off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep watch at this window for a few hours. I think. Lovely. 
I'll, uh, I'll try to send a send a picture of uh, what they look like. I'm scuttling up the side of a wall. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot to fill Fenris in on tomorrow <laughs> morning. <laughs> it's gonna be like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Let me send some images into that one channel. So oh, it's not a channel just for images, huh? Fucking, like Adventure Time goblins. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, for Noro and Fenris, what would they be up to right now? Or still playing? Uh, Fenris just uh, had headed into his uh, room after taking a bath. Uh, he pressed to digitize the fuck out of his fucking uh, armor and his cloak, mm -hmm. and um, he spent the rest of his night communing. With his uh, with his patron. Hopefully. I see. Noro continued playing his instrument for a little bit before thought... eventually like picking it up. I was would... kind of like ooh, sorry, go ahead. I just I just wanted to add, um, if anyone went near Fenris's room, they would hear more than one pair of footsteps in it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lovely. Um, Noro, before he went up to his room, after, like, grabbing everything, just sort of walked up to the barkeep and just quickly asked, Are oh, the rooms locked? And um, the barkeep would kind of, almost, almost of the blank stare and be like, yeah, yeah, of course, I mean, or not, not with anything, um, they, I mean, most of them have latches on the doors, I'm, I'm sure some of them probably busted off by now, but, uh, yeah, for the most part, they should, should be able to lock. Noro just kind of gives him a silent nod before, like, grabbing the rest of his stuff and walks up to his room. There's not much else from Noro. This is Noro afterwards. singing, like, in the middle of the night. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> yeah. he, the, I, I imagine he probably, like, <laughs> he probably was singing like this while he was playing, but, like, afterwards he, you know, obviously didn't pack everything up. I'm trying to imagine being in a <laughs> fantasy in... It's fucking three in the morning. You wake up and you hear this. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Does he get any tips from people? Oh yeah, did I did I get any tips at all? Uh, like, make a uh, make a make a perception check or not a performance check? Sorry. Performance check. Yeah. yeah. Let me see here. Uh, let me roll my dice. Um, that's a six. Uh, that's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Jeez. Okay. He's rich. He will make. Um. So j mostly, mostly from uh from just kind of drunk patrons sort of like throwing around their money. Um. Most of them are pretty pretty enamored by this performance. Um. Both both from your actual talent, maybe you know, maybe a little bit of the grog. Um. But you end up at the uh, at the end of the night, you end up with a uh, an extra gold piece and uh, seven silver pieces. Nice, nice. Fucking Ooh. cheap, cheap fucks. <laughs> fucks. I played for a whole lot. <laughs> All right, he, like, I slips it into his bag, just kind of walks up to the room, and before he, because he didn't multi-class into bod like I did. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of like before he walks into the room. I'm sure he's probably like the last person to go in. Sure. He kind of like has a sort of nervous look over his shoulder before he kind of closes the door and takes care to lock it. Lovely. Interesting. All right. Um, okay, so uh, I suppose, you know, anytime throughout the night or even in your own rooms, you know, you all eat to not die. Um, so we'll take off whatever the uh, rations. Um, and... Ba -ba -ba. All right. Um, so morning comes. Um, unfortunately, the sun never rises. It might be a little, a little difficult getting used to this as uh, the sun sun never rises. So it's a little hard to tell when it is morning. Um, but uh, around. Andrus over... is awake before everyone else and smoking in a corner table. By the way. Lovely. Um, but yeah, most of you, most of you come to rise, and you know, maybe we'll leave the room, come out into the, 
into the inn below, which is mostly cleared out, but there's a there's a couple other patrons, you know, um, different different folks who were who were um, out here, um, who were also you know staying in the inn, um, notably you know Lynn also uh, hanging out at a uh, hanging out at the bar talking with the barkeep. As we is like, there anybody yeah. in the bar that I would be sharing a pipe with? <laughs> um, let's say there's is there anyone a, cool enough. There's a um, anyone cool enough. There's a there's a uh, there's a there's a half there's a half elf man um, who was who's here last night. Also uh, here in the morning has a bit of bit of a hangover, but um, was staying here as at the inn at night. Um, there's a there's a pair of a uh, there's a pair of human what you would assume siblings also sitting at a table, and then also a yeah, the gnome from before. Is the, gnome before. <laughs> the gnome from before is still like, kind of curled up in a ball in the corner sleeping. Um, as well as a, a dwarf kind of like slumped up against the wall against, uh, right next to where the, uh, the, the, the gnome was uh, also kind of sleeping. Nah, none of these people are cool enough to get the fate wild. <laughs> Damn. So. Unfortunate. Um, yeah. Guess we'll fill Fenris in on our conversation last night before sure. the, yeah. she comes down to meet us. Just imagine this time not being butchered by the DM. Imagine that no. interaction, but like good though. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nora's trying to see if he can buy like some extra rations to take on the journey. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, Same. Yeah. Oh, we're traveling as a party now, are we? Uh, you get the impression he's kind of raising his eyebrow at you, but then he immediately shrugs. Okay. <laughs> I suppose after the Yeti, I'd rather not be wandering the woods on my own as I normally do. Dude, I'm gonna fucking... I'm surprised Norho's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Nora kind of like, get, like looks, looks back at him for a second and then goes back to buying stuff from the bar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to fucking... I would like to... Uh, um... Gwen has, what, fucking 15 passive perception? Yeah. Uh, you you notice when whenever Fenris takes a pull of his pipe and it very slightly illuminates his face, um, you can see he has like from the from the like peeking out from the bottom of his his hood, you know, mm -hmm. you can see he has uh, lilac colored cat eyes. Oh, interesting. The funny eyes. Just um, gonna clock that, I guess. <laughs> okay. Also, to 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 circle back, um, at the uh, the barkeep will be sending. Will can if you're looking for rations, you know, you, you can be selling um different types of jerky, some uh some bread, that sort of thing. Um, pretty simple food. Um, and for each like kind of serving of rations, it'll cost uh five silver pieces. And in this, I, I I don't know if it's different per thing, but the way I'm I'm running it is that um five or um one gold is worth uh, ten silver, um one silver is worth ten copper, like everything's just a derivative of, of ten. Um, okay, um, let's see, I have like seven silver pieces on me, so I'll have him uh put off five sil put off five silver pieces and a gold piece to um so you can get like three get, rations, like, yeah. Yeah, two rations. Specifically jerky, because it lasts longer and it won't go cold. Sure. Or moldy. Lovely. Next time we hit the road, we'll hunt something, Naro. Let's do so. We're running low on food, and I don't feel like using all of my money. No use paying an arm and a leg for mediocre rations. Huh. I... <laughs> the barkeep will kind of raise an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay well, I mean, I'm not going to be taking fucking bread on the road. Come on now. <laughs> I'll pay Arch one gold for two. Cool, Sorry. cool. Oh, yeah. No, uh, Archie will do the same. Love. Pay one gold for two rations. Love. Five silver for a loaf of bread got me fucking... Got me <laughs> fucked up. Fenris is, Fenris is muttering this in common as he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Obama. E common. Um, e Thanks, e Grand Wizard. <laughs> Thanks, Grand Wizard Obama. <laughs> yeah, Wait, okay. right before Fenris goes to like leave the the bar, he literally like he immediately like heel turns and walks back to the barkeep and he says, "By the way." You know any wizards in the area? 
he'll sort of uh he'll sort of think to himself and be uh, none 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 that I know of. I know I know a few weeks past there was a uh, there was there was a there was there was somebody who's who's you know toting about being a wizard um in the bar and you know doing some fancy magic tricks. But uh, he, besides that, nobody nobody here in town that I know of at least. Hmm. I see. Thank you. And then he turns around and he, he he heel turns in exactly the same way and he walks out the door. Lovely. Also, um, uh, uh Lynn's still there if you wanted to, uh, talk to her. Gotcha. Oh, yes. Fenris uh, has not looked at this woman once. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. She'll kind of, uh, she'll kind of, uh, look... <laughs> Look over to um, to Gwyn. Also, um, sort of be like, have you guys uh, come to decision yet? You guys, you guys, thinking of thinking of doing this job or what? I'm going to tap Fenris on the shoulder with a tentacle. Ah, <laughs> huh? Fenris is like he looks very <laughs> briefly alarmed by feeling something like touch his shoulder that is not a hand, and you're like, <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting that you have that. <laughs> The, bar, the barkeep will look like right. very like interested he, like, at looks... these, but uh, yeah. <laughs> he looks he looks at the empty air above the dwarf and then like looks down. And you're like, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so rude. <laughs> this is the woman. He's like six about. foot three. <laughs> well, how tall is the how tall is the dwarf woman? Um, maybe like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a uh, 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 fucking like I don't know, like maybe maybe five foot flat. Five foot. Okay, oh, so wow. Nora, Nora's pretty, uh, four four dwarf at least. She's pretty. She's pretty built. She's pretty tall. Well, Nora, that means Nora's looking at her at high level. Fenris is actually just uh, secretly as a as an elf racist against dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> He's a closeted racist. Checks closeted. Out. Racist. closeted. Kind of what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Uh, Noro kind of like, uh... You're the person that wants us to do something shady, right? I, uh, well, I don't know why I keep doing that voice for her. That's like my default voice for every single character, and I figure that out. (laughs) Anyways, yeah, no, but she'll, she'll say, she'll say, I mean, you know, (laughs) it's it's up up to you how, how you feel about it. We're doing the, uh, you'll be doing, you'll be doing everybody in the Ten Towns a favor, but by getting rid of this guy, you know, he's picking off people who are, who are just trying to, uh, Trying to not be sacrificed to this uh, to this god that we don't even know is really doing this. Fenris taps his chin underneath his hood. Could think of something. Sorry, what? Fenris um Fenris taps his chin under his hood, and says, uh, "I could think of something." What What do you mean by that? I don't. Uh, I think I'm missing the context. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not ever, I'm not spelling it out. Or I mean, like, I don't know what that's in response to, is what I meant. To the, yeah, like, you know, deal with this guy. Oh, oh, okay, like, I see uh, what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, she'll say, you know, well, I, I, I oh, suppose. Oh, like the deal with you, how, deal with him however you want. Right, right, rather. right. Well, she'll kind of, she'll kind of, you know, like, like, she's kind of turned to you on the stool, and then she'll sort of like turn back over, over the bar and say, well, I, you got, you can. You can try to deal with him or not try to deal with him. I already have a few other people on the job, so uh, if you, if you're able to do it and bring back some evidence, you know I'm hand, hand, happy to fork over the money. And her shrugs and heads out. Oh, right. she kind of turns this out man gives no fucks. Nora <laughs> just kind of like uh, look, looks at him walking out, and he turns back to her and is just like, "I believe that is a yes then." She'll give kind of a kind of a smile and sort of sort of a sort of just like a pretty pretty uh, a blunt like thumbs up and then sort of just go back to go back to kicking kicking back another another mug. Uh, can we find you back here if mm, we yeah, she, succeed? Yeah, she'll she'll look back and be like, "Oh yeah, no, I'll, I'll still be in town for for another couple weeks." Okay, I'm always here. I have never left the inn. <laughs> Yeah, she's um she's not from uh from around ten towns, but you know ever since kind of being stuck here two years ago, she figures she'll she'll make it work. 
Fenris is leaning against the uh, the in wall outside like an edge lord. Like the pipe. <laughs> he's doing the one Elden Ring like emote, like the the lean. Yeah, he's doing like the yeah. yeah he's doing the like he's doing the Elden Ring lean emote. Lovely. As you what? um. Hmm, go ahead. Yeah, go. Sorry. Oh no, I was, I was. Were you gonna say something? No. All right. As um. As you guys, <laughs> as you as you guys are, are start are starting to head out, um, one of the one of the doors that was kind of you know hanging out or sitting next to the um, to the uh, to the, sorry the the gnome, um, uh, kind of kind of nod, nods awake and, and and sort of like, in in kind of kind of a hurry stumbles to his feet. He's like, oh, oh wait, hold up, and then he'll kind of kind of get up like brushing off some uh, some just like crumbs that were on him onto his friend on the ground. He'll sort of like he'll sort of like. Kick him. The gnome a has a bit. really deep voice. He'll kick him. He'll 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 nod the uh, he'll nod the gnome next to him awake, and as he kind of like walks up to you, th this is a, a, a dwarf, by the way. Um, it's a um. Walks up to who? Uh, who is I guess I don't know nearest nearest to 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 um fucking Hillen Hillen right now. I'm fucking out the door. So. Yeah. Ar Archie's definitely still hanging around, Lynn. Sure. Okay, he'll yeah, uh. Archie. He'll uh he'll kind of he'll kind of get up. He has a kind of he has a thick a pretty thick like kind of scarf on. Um, uh for for a dwarf kind of surprising doesn't have a beard. Um, but uh has has kind of a has kind of a, a big wool woolly hat that sort of uh, flicks out on the sides. Um, and you'll kind of kind of stumble over and be like, I uh, you you guys you guys are are, are making a making a deal with Lynn. I, I you know I got I got I got some work that you guys might be able to uh, help me help me with. Oh god! <laughs> oh boy, a list of chores. Fenris sticks his head inside the door. And says, What's taking you so? Lynn oh. <laughs> will kind of kind of read over and be like, like, oh, oh, it's a, oh, f my my <laughs> my old drinking buddy, f f f uh, <laughs> Ferris. Um, he'll kind of she'll kind of like give him give him kind of like a a punch on the shoulder and be like, what's how how what's what's what seems to be the matter. He'll sort of um, he'll sort of pipe up and be like, "Well, <clears throat> you'll kind of kind of burp a little bit and be like, well, I was uh, me and me and my me and my friend over here, we were supposed to be making a making a making a delivery um, of the, the iron ingots, you know, and he'll kind of um, he'll kind of point like sort of sort of wobbly hand point at a big like emblem crest kind of like on his chest, um, which you can see is a um, a symbol of like a, a mug with like a like a big kind of frothy foam coming out of it, sort of engraved into a little like a thing that's holding his um holding his little like cloak onto his chest. Um and wow. he'll, men he'll mention um fucking sorry one second. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Yeah, yeah, so he'll mention he's the he's a um he's a member of the um God fucking damn it. I love me losing losing hope. Fenris leans down to this gnome. And, <laughs> and races against the gnome, gnome can just barely <laughs> like make out his eyes. Right? The the proof of point. Oh, it's 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 the dwarf that's talking, not the gnome. Oh, uh, either way. Uh -huh. Same same difference. He still needs to <laughs> lean down. You'll sort of you'll sort of you'll sort of kinda of like blink for a moment, sort of like try to try to stand up a little bit straight and he says okay okay so we were we were we were supposed to be we were supposed to be delivering our, our, our iron iron ingots from from the from the cairn from you know where, where we mine them all up over here to Bryn Shander but then um <laughs> he'll sort of he'll sign a kind of look a little glum for a moment we kind of kind of got a got attacked so maybe a little bit maybe sort of had to run away um but all those all those ingots are just hanging out in the cart in the middle of the tundra and I, I don't <laughs> He'll kind of hiccup once again. I, I don't really know if we can go back to get it. I'm a little. Well, I mean, I I would be oh, scared, so but uh, we'll kind of kind of look over to Helena. Like, do you do you know anybody who can kind of take care of something like this? You know, be able to get that that cart back for us. Where is the Fenris cart? Fenris is holding like the bridge of his like <laughs> nose. <laughs> you, when doing a bunch of chores. <laughs> when you when you ask where the cart, he's like, oh, it's. Just just a couple miles outside of town. It was you know late last night. Sort of had to run away a little bit. You know, this big big hairy guy came in, started screaming, and sort of got a hold of Obak, and you know, I don't, I, you know, you know. Does it have horns? Oh, oh, the old side of yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I killed it. 
Oh, that's that's I win, 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 win. Well, this was last yeah, like, night. Like he he pulls time. out the still fucking gore covered horn. It was like still you know like he, he as he pulls it out like a drop of brain matter like flops onto <laughs> the floor. Yeah, well, he'll look at the horn and be like, yeah, it look looks something like that probably I think maybe. You think what? anyone would pay me for it? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean that uh, seemed pretty pretty. Pretty butchered up, pretty bad. I don't, I don't know if any, if any, any, any tailor hunter is really gonna want that. He's sort of a, he's sort of assuming that it's not like any particular thing that you're just gonna try to sell horn. I already have a low opinion of this region. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Whatever, <laughs> he's man. He's not walking away. Whatever, <laughs> man. He'll kind of, kind of look to the rest. It's like, well. I don't know if any of you are up to doing something like that. It's, it's, it's a pretty simple job. Just go in, drag a cart a few miles, and bring back. And you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure my family will be able to, you know, pay pay you pretty well. Which uh, direction outside of town was this cart? Uh, just, he'll kind of he'll kind of like spin around where he's standing and sort of like point a few directions. He'll be like, oh, it's a uh, east, east, east out of the gate, east gate. Yeah, that'll take us like a day, huh? Something to do while we gather clues on our murderer, too. I suppose. Something to do. The um, uh, Helen will kind of will kind of pipe up and say um, that she's uh, she's she's she doesn't know where Torg the the that traveling caravan is right now. That she doesn't she doesn't have any leads for for where it is right now. But if you know you would come across it, then that's something that you can do. Otherwise, and then uh, report back to her. She also kind of, you know, you know, pipe up and sort of like kick, kick the door from the foot and be like, "What, what are you, what are you, what are you willing to pay these folks?" And then he'll kind of be like, "Oh well," <clears throat> he'll kind of, he'll kind of look down into his bag and uh, sort of shuffle around with some, some, some garbage. And he's like, "Well, we, uh, we'll be able to. Hey, I can give you some, some." Uh, and he'll sort of zone out and then pipe back in and be a, uh, "I can, I can, I can hand off some of these. Some uh, we have some gems, right? We can maybe like fifty gold pieces each." Something like that. I'll make it make it worth your while if you get this get this cart back here to Bryn Shander. I'm I'm kind of, I'm kind of in hot shit if I don't do it myself. Sounds worth it to me. <laughs> For something as easy as that, I'd agree. Simple job, easy in in and out, real quick. You can you can you can make it. You can do you can do the round trip probably in a day. It's only a few hours out. One more ironing. One more ironing, Arthur. <laughs> One more iron again. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess we've accepted the quest. I guess. If you would like to, I mean, you know, it's up to up to up to up to you, up to your characters. I don't know why we wouldn't. Yeah, right. Nothing. Free, free, literally free money. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, so I guess uh, you know they'll both kind of wave you off, and, and he'll sort of take a take a seat next to a uh, Lynn, and they'll both you know continue drinking. Um, other the gnome still kind of half awake, slumped up against the ground, but um, you guys can uh, sort of you know leave 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 the uh, leave the north look, and you'll find yourself kind of at the the north part of town. Um, there are, there are a few. Well, know, every time we. Every time I go into a town, there's just a gaggle of people in the inn waiting to unload their problems onto any <laughs> random person. Yeah. The no, we'll back. I full of my problems, dog. my friend. Okay. Wait, did, what, John is gone for a second, right? Feeding his yeah, dog. He's dead. Noro is I dead. Nora is I dead. I make soup. There uh, are... Um, uh, there are other, you know, Ow. shops and stuff that you'd probably expect in town if you want to uh, check those out. Is there a magic out, shop or... that I can see? Sorry, what? Is there a magic shop? Um, no, not in this town. There doesn't seem to be. Uh, doesn't seem to be really much of anything like that. There's a. Um, there's a, there's the house of the morning lord, which is you know tangentially related, but nothing. Uh, not not really a shop. More of like a church than anything. Well. Oh well, I guess. I'll wait for Nara to say anything sure, sure. in character, but 
Also, uh, uh, really think, fucking, probably. really fucking sorry. I butchered that first Holland introduction. I had a whole kind of thing planned, but oopsie. I I oh, could not okay. tell. <laughs> that was not sarcastic. I yeah. couldn't tell anything was wrong. Uh, no, yeah, 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 man, yeah. Everything was fine. <laughs> oh, what was is it? It was like... only it was half in character and half in character when I was like, "Hey, hurry up!" <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, uh, a little bit. I had like... flashbacks to Rue and Model Jailbreak um, talking for actually thirty minutes about uh, bottles of alcohol at a bar we love in it. session, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, please let me play D and D." Thunderous applause. What was that, Ryan? Oh, a little bit of a flavor text thing, but Archie has her mask kind of just latched on to the, like the the side of her waist just kind of hanging mm -hmm. oh cool a little, bit of, a little bit of monica in my life <laughs> oh why the fuck did i say that it's gonna get stuck in my it's, head it's now. brain worm for some reason i also had that same like thought a second also before but i don't remember why or like what it's from <laughs> or like what like it was it was because ryan said um that like he said a, a lyric of that song something on a side. little bit of something what <laughs> there, it's, wait huh it's a it's, it's just some from random fucking song but i think like just a part of your sentence happened to be the same as one of the lyrics in that song so both oh, of our brains okay. just like latched onto it <laughs> and started playing the song in our head. Okay, so I, I accidentally referenced something that I don't even know yeah, anything basically. about. Gotcha, gotcha. Huge. Is that not fucking Mambo number five? Yeah. <laughs> Mambo number five. Okay, <laughs> uh, it's so fun being a DM when I realize I like forget something like 10 minutes later and then just have to bullshit some reason to bring it back up. <laughs> like, I don't even know who the fuck this dwarf is, bro. <laughs> just like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember his name. Honestly, his name is his name is um his name is Ferris. I know right? Grimbo. Oh, that's right. Ferris, or, wait, no, yeah, Ferris. that was just some I made up that shit in the spot. Ferris, his name is Ferris. Um, Ferris what Bueller? Ferris. Well, he actually should have a canon back name. I thought you said his name was fucking nefarious for a second. <laughs> <I was there. laughs> Excuse me. That's in. That's like, a wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fucking name. I'm not listening to a dude named fucking nefarious. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I might have to leave like sooner, but I mean it's like ten till. Yeah, no, no worries. This was gonna be a shorter, sh shorter session, anyways. Um, World building. Thunder. Yes, yes. Or rather, building up that inevitably uh, incomprehensibly long list of side quests that we're never gonna finish. <laughs> Yeah, I sort of introduced him in a weird way. I kind of, I kind of, I also messed up the the Hlin thing. It was supposed to feel a little more natural than like, "Hey, take this quest," but you know, oh well. on. hey guys, oh well. there's a murderer on the loose. Want to go stop him for me? Yeah, basically. Yeah, there's a there's a better way, but oops. Bad. You get there. Get the point, anyways. <laughs> um. Fuck. Caltro. Is that a name in the book? Yeah. That's so fucking stupid. Spec Caltro. It's a great ass name, bro. It's like a fucking sexy, sexy man. There's like a picture of him. Well, actually, yeah, no, wait till you can see him. Loads, man. Hello. Um, Hi. What did I miss? Uh, not much. We sort of, we sort of no. paused, but um, yeah. I was just saying, Probably. you know, you guys can do stuff in the town if you would like. Otherwise, you know, head off and do whatever. Um, yeah, well, we can like talk to the, the guard, or head to the temple. Mm. I don't think what I'm looking for is there, though. What are you looking for? Fenris sort of, like, cats his like chin under his boy? hood, <laughs> and um, seems to be contemplating whether or not to say something, and then finally says, uh, a wizard. A wizard. Any for any particular reason. Maybe you'll find out. 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was Ominous. like, well, while we're, still, while we're still in town, we should at least talk to the guard just to let him know. Sounds good to me. I agree. Lovely, lovely. Um, you guys want to head to the fucking, what's his face? Um, Mr. South. Southwell. Mr. Southwell. Sheriff Southwell. Okay. Mr. Sheriff Southwell. That's his accent, by the way. It was like super hardened, rugged, rugged. <laughs> Wait, well, I have... He's he's actually the we character who does have the voice, the the deep, the deep this voice. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Um. You guys can kind of head back to you kind of mosey over to that um that town hall um and sort of enter enter through the through the Gosh. doors once again. Um. This time, as you're entering, um, you will see a uh, you will see kind of a kind of a short, a short lady, maybe maybe like maybe in her late thirties, um, sitting at that chair at the uh, at the end of the end of the main hall, um, and you'll see a uh, you'll see you'll see a, a, t- a taller you know dark skinned man who kind of has a kind of kind of almost a fully shaved head, like you know you, you would you would almost assume that he was bald what? otherwise. What? Um, what? He has kind of, like a, he has kind of a, a thick, like graying kind of um, um, mustache and, and beard, um, but kind of otherwise adorned in a big, like leather kind of cloak. Um, kind of, kind of speaking to her at the end of the hall. Hmm. Otherwise, um, you know, you'd recognize those two same guards from the from the last day um, standing there as as you walk in. Um, and as 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 you folks walk in, one of them will kind of you know perk up and be like, oh oh, uh, you folks from 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 yesterday, right? You know, kind of uh, you'll kind of they'll kind of haul over to the uh, the, the man standing uh, over by the chair and sort of wave him over, and uh, say that these were you know the folks from folks from yesterday. Um, kind of he'll he'll walk over, you know, look look over you and be like, you uh you had something uh you had something you you wanted to report to us. Oh yes, we were with the caravan of about 20 people and a yeti killed them all kind of well most of them probably there might be some survivors out there dying of the cold but fool where are some survivors well we didn't (laughs) die of the cold nor the yeti he'll kind of uh he'll kind of rub his temples the the the, like gore stained fucking horn up (laughs) <laughs> he'll kind of, he'll kind of, the man will kind of rub his, rub his temples and sort of, um, sort of let out like a long sigh, saying, "We already, we already have enough to, enough to deal with lately." Um, who, who do you know any, any people from this caravan? Were any of them, any of them from our town? The Creedy brothers. Oh yeah, those two. Damn fools! They, they're always, always trying to bring in more people. Bringing more people to the towns just to get some more commerce through here, which I suppose was a good idea, but um, I, I never expected that they would even make one trip. I, I'm, sh- I'm sure that this would have happened eventually. You know, kind of. Uh, well, they made a trip and a half. Yeah, I suppose you know you always got to do your best to stay uh, stay lighthearted in these times. But um, well, I'm, of course, you know, sorry that that you folks had to go through all some some like that, but uh. There's, there's not too much we oh, can I'm do fine. now. I, I just imagine. wanted to report it. Yeah. I didn't actually see anything. I saw the cart afterwards. Mm. I was wondering. I had been hoping that there was a bounty on men eating yetis, but he kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of chuckle a bit and be like, "Well, I, uh, I wish we could hand over something like that, but we just, we just don't have enough to to go around. We, we try keeping most of our people within the town walls, as it's a." Uh, safer in here than out there but um i do do appreciate you for taking care of that threat but uh surely there's still still more out there i don't know if any any more carts in and out of the towns are going to be any a, a good idea at all anytime soon mm. <laughs> is there like a bounty board in there at all that um, um there isn't anything like that but um you could you can um you can you can tell that it seems like these these guards do have kind of a not not quite a lot on their plates, but um just recently you know obviously because of the sun not being there most mo- most funds are, are being drained just to try to keep keep food and hunting alive and and just trying to uh, kind of keep keep afloat at a bare minimum. Um, 
it does seem like uh, crime has has risen a little bit, but um, there there are any uh, any any particular um, bounties out for any any people at least in this town. I see. I'd like to ask, do you know anything about strange creatures blanketed in straw scuttling around at night? You're kind of going to be taken back. Well, that's that's <laughs> quite a question. Um, I can't Bender's say I have. fucking like like immediately. You can't see his face, but you can see him double take like mid step. <laughs> yeah. Also, kind of like does does the turn himself. I'll say I uh, can't. I can't say I. Uh, I can't say I have no. Um, just, have, you kind you kind of just you kind of just deflate a little bit inside. And be like, oh, there's too much shit going on. I can't deal with this. <laughs> um. Well, I. I. I, I can Nora make a nature and or history check for that? Sort of uh, thing? yeah, go ahead and make a uh, nature check. Gotcha. I guess I'll I'll make like a check as well. Yeah, I'll also make a make just a nature ha check. having heard this yeah. nature check. Uh huh. Let me roll. Oh, 19 plus. All right. Uh, that's, that's a three. Like 21. Okay, let me see. 21. <laughs> Wait, what was your roll? Uh, Nora getting a three. Oh, no. I rolled three. <laughs> You're supposed to be our nature guy. I yeah. know. <laughs> um. So Fenris, you um, do not know what a null okay. was. Apologies, I need to leave like now. No worries. Oh. Okay. Um, uh, bye. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap this right now. Right I'll just finish. I'll, I'll explain whatever this description is or whatever. But I'm all. I can also explain that just in text. Yeah, somewhere. just like um, DM it to me. Yeah. Sure, sure. Okay. Bye, bye. Doodles. Uh, I... Okay, so uh, you'll 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 know maybe maybe from your travels, maybe overhearing it from uh, some of the other uh, some of the other some of the other hunt, um, but this description seems vaguely reminiscent of um, of a, a small kind of shy elemental spirit, um, something you've heard about before, kind of being described as small, like the sort of small men in my attic um, run away whenever I see them, kind of a kind of a story. Um, you've never you've never encountered them yourself, and you don't know too much about them, but um. You you hear that these uh these these little elemental spirits whose name kind of elude you um, are are kind of interested in, in human and humanoid activity and they'll sort of uh, try to mimic people and um, are are kind of playful they're they're almost like uh, they're almost like children in a way but um they're kind of a they are small um, elemental spirits that can be seen around certain uh, populations and, and town centers and that sort of thing. Can't believe Nora oh, I've seen some of my co-workers game. chasing those things around. Yeah. Yeah. They'd like to throw. They'd like to throw rocks at them. <laughs> it's oh. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so disgusting. Are they nefarious at all? You're, they're oh, they're no. not known for. My being... co-workers are nefarious. <laughs> uh -huh. He's like, he's like only oh only sometimes oh you're talking about the creatures oh no. <laughs> that checks. At this point, you know the um, the the Mister 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 Southwell will um, kind of kind of say, "Well, uh, if you'll if you'll excuse me, I have to I have to go back to um, back to uh, sorry, one second. I have to go go back to go back and continue talking with uh with with Shane and um, we have, we have some we have some problems we have to take care of. But um, if you, I suppose if you you know deal with any more issues like this, just Come and let us know. It's always better to know, but uh, I can't imagine there will be mu too much we can do. At least, at least uh, as as of now. Sounds good. Sweet. <laughs> yes, we'll just leave out. At, like, we'll um, leave off as we all like, kind of leave mm -hmm. the town hall. Yeah, we can uh, close off as you're all kind of moseying, moseying outside. Q. Age better be online so that we can at least fucking bald that gate. I swear to God. Or do you need to go as well, Carson? Oh yeah, no, I'm going to work. <laughs> I gotta go to work. Right now. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Yeah, what's up? I I'd sent sent it in your chat. Oh yes, yes, yes let me see. Oh damn! Uh, you guys sure. didn't yeah, go to that. the. Uh, you guys didn't go to the hot the hot springs, so now <laughs> you have to get the fucking Fenris character description laid on i completely oh. i completely like what wasn't, oh. wasn't actually expecting to oh. do hot spring hot spring rp it's unfortunate that didn't happen 
Next t- next time we're in there. town. Next time next time you're at a hot spring, you got this. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'll, I won't. Or do just it whenever it's convenient. It was just yeah, like yeah. a good moment. We'll make it happen. Um, okay, so I will, I will, I will, I will dip out, um, take a shower, and go to work and stuff. Um, also, John, I will DM you that in just like a second. Um, Thank you, Carson. Yeah, it was fun. Sorry, I fucked up the whole thing. I swear to God, it was supposed to be more natural and okay. make more sense, but whatever. Oh, no, you're okay, great. You're fine. great. Okay, bye. Yeah. Okay, make your recording people toodles.